Today I'm going to be talking about adding and subtracting rational expressions. This is day two of section four. What we're going to be looking at is simplifying complex fractions, when you have a fraction within a fraction. So let's think about um, something a little bit more basic. If we had something like 1 half over 5, to get rid of that fraction, we can multiply by the denominator by the top and bottom, and we get 1 over 10. We're going to use this same concept for complex fractions. So if we look at this complex fraction, we have two denominators. We have 2x plus 1 and x. So what we need to do is we need to multiply by those to get rid of those fractions. Now whatever we do to the top, we have to do to the bottom and vice versa. So to get rid of the fraction on the top, we have to multiply by 2x plus 1. Since we multiply it by the top, we have to multiply it by the bottom. Now, to get rid of the, the denominator x, we have to multiply by x, and whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So I'm going to write this out. I'm going to say x times 2x plus 1 times x over 2x plus 1. All over, and we have to distribute this to both terms. So this is going to be x times 2x plus 1 times 5 plus x times 2x plus 1 times 3 over x. So if you can notice, I've multiplied the 2x plus 1 times x to all three terms of this complex fraction. Now I can start uh, simplifying. If we multiply this, these two get canceled out, and we're left over with x squared. If we look at the next one, we have um, 5x times 2x plus 1 plus these x's cancel out and we have left over 3 times 2x plus 1. So now we're going to start simplifying. So we now have x squared all over 10x squared plus 5x plus 6x plus 3. Now we have is x squared all over 10x squared plus 11x plus 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to red Mustang over to the side. Okay, and we're going to have uh, x squared plus 11x plus 30. And then we're going to get x plus 6, x plus 5, divide by 10. And we get x plus 3 over 5 and x plus 1 over 2. So we have to write this in factored form. So this is going to end up being x squared all over 5x plus 3 times 2x plus 1. We always keep it in factored form to make sure that there is nothing that we can simplify for this problem. So let's do another one. This one, we have another complex fraction. Our two denominators are 3 and x. So we're going to multiply the top and bottom by 3x. So I'm going to write this out. So we have 3x times x over 3 plus 3x times 2. All over 3x times 1 over x plus 3x times 3. Okay, now I'm going to start simplifying. The 3's cancel out for this one, so we get x squared plus 6x. All over, these x's cancel out, so I get 3 plus 9x. We need to put this in factored form, so what we have is x times x plus 6 over 3 times 3x plus 1. There is nothing to cancel out, so this is our final answer. All right, let's try another one. Now, if we look at this, we have a lot of different denominators, and what we're going to look for is your largest factor for each of these. So our largest factor for our number is going to be 10. So we're going to multiply both sides by 10. 
Now our largest amount of x's is x squared, and our largest amount of y's is y squared. So we're going to multiply each term by 10x squared times y squared for each one of these. So we have 10x squared times y squared times 1 over 5x squared minus 10x squared y squared times 2 over y all over 10x squared times y squared times 7 over 10x plus 10x squared y squared times 3 over 2y squared. Now we can start canceling out and simplifying. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. The x squareds cancel out. So what we have left over is 2y squared. And then we're going to subtract it by the y's cancel out. So we get 20 x squared times y all over. The 10's cancel out. The x cancels out. And so we're left over with 7 x y squared. The very last one, 10 divided by 2 is a 5. The y squareds cancel out. So we have plus 15 x squared. Okay, we can factor this. So we have a 2y. So we get y minus 10x squared on the top. And we can factor out an x out of the bottom. So we have 7y squared plus 15x. So that is in factored form. And we were finished with that one. All right, I have one more example for you. We now have to factor the denominators first before we start multiplying by common factors. So let's rewrite this one as 3 over x plus 2, x minus 2, all over. Okay, and the next one is going to be 2 over x plus 2, minus x plus 1, all over x minus 3, x plus 2. Okay, so what we're going to have to multiply by for, to get rid of the top one is going to have to be x minus 2, and x plus 2. But we also have an x minus 3 that we also have to multiply by. And we're going to do it at the bottom as well. The x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 3. All right. So we're going to do the top. The x minus 2 and x plus 2 cancel out. So on the top, we're left over with a 3 x minus 3 all over 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 3 minus x plus 1 times x minus 2. So what we're going to do next is we're going to start foiling and distributing. So we have 3x minus 9 all over 2 times x squared minus 5x plus 6 minus x squared minus x minus 2. So now we have a 3x minus 9 all over a 2x squared minus 10x plus 12 minus x squared plus x plus 2. We can now simplify even further. We have 3x minus 9 all over x squared minus 9x plus 14. Okay, so we're going to factor. So we have 3x minus 3 all over x minus 7 times x minus 2. Nothing to cancel out, and that is our final answer.